Hey, Chicky. So, okay, today we are doing four marble looks. No, not marble slash stone like Italian marble, but marble, as in water marble, but only one of them is using water. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Now for this one, I'm only using four polishes for all four of the nail looks. I'm starting off with OPI's Black Onyx, and then the base is OPI's Alpine Snow. And then the two colors that I'm using are from Pipe Dream Polishes. Firstly, Bell Bottoms, and then the pink is Masquerader. I'll also be using Pipe Dream Polishes Clear Water. So we're going to get straight into it. I've already painted all of my nails white, and I've got my washi tape on. The water that I'm using is just normal tap water. I don't use fancy bottled water or anything like that. I don't think that's necessary. Now I'm going to rush through this first one and the reason for that will become apparent very shortly because I didn't do a very good job. In the, in the, the interest of transparency you'll see very shortly that I completely stuffed this one up. I don't know how and I probably could have just left it but I completely ruined it and I don't know how or why and that's just the thing with water marble sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to as you can see there's a little bit of uh, on one of the petals and it just turned out really crap and then I decided to use some black acrylic craft paint in an effort to fix it and my fixing quite literally made it worse so I scrapped that and started again so as I said, I'm starting again and luckily I'm only doing or changing the design on my middle nail throughout these all four of these manis. So I really didn't, well, I mean it wasn't a lot of work to change one nail so that's why I didn't have a problem with doing that. So we're going to start again. Now as with every water marble you want to build up your polish in your water until you get to your bullseye. Once you have your bullseye it's now time to create your design and we're obviously doing a petal design. I'm taking my water marble tool which is from Picture Polish. Links will be in the description box down below as per usual. Uh, and we're creating the petals by sectioning it from 4 then to 8 then to 16. 4, 8, 16. Yep that's right. No 4, 8. Yes. 4, 8, 16. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm terrible at maths. I'm really really quite terrible. Anyway. So now as you can see when I pull my nail out of the polish this time it's still not perfect there are a couple of air bubbles sometimes that happens and you just have to get over it but I really like the way that second blue part of the petal where it meets the black where they sort of meld a little bit together now that generally wouldn't happen with clear water from picture polish oh it's not picture polish pipe dream polish but for some reason it did this time and I actually really liked it and it wasn't because I was being lazy and didn't want to start the whole thing again it was because I actually really liked that look and that's why I decided to keep this one. I'm also aware that I haven't given you any nail cleanup porn yet but don't worry it's coming. Uh, obviously we're going to go ahead and top coat this one using my favorite top coat which of course is Seshvit and this is the end result. I really loved how it turned out and I'm probably going to say that throughout the whole video because it's true I like them all otherwise I wouldn't have posted them <laughs> except that first one just ignore that one anyway let's get into the second look now the second technique or the second look comes from a blogger called Zlata from uh, her blog is called Debris or her Instagram name is called Debris you're going to need a uh, what is it a squishy stamper I'm using mine from Fab Your Nails now this is really easy and requires no water. As I said, only the first one required water, this one no water at all. So for this one I'm also going to need to use some liquid latex to protect the skin around my nails and to do that I'm using Skin Protect from Bow Polish which is the pink liquid latex that I've been using quite often recently. Mm -hmm. 
So you're also going to need some sort of silicone mat or you can more than likely use a sandwich bag to do this but I'm using a silicone mat for my purposes and this is what I learnt from watching what uh, Zlata from Debris did and basically you do a white base and then you put your colours down and then you use a tool, some sort of sharp implement and squish it back and forth. And then you get your squishy tool, which is, again, I'm using my Fabionelle's super squishy squisher. And then you squish it down onto that surface and then you squish the tr what's transferred onto your squishy stamper. And you squish that onto your nail. And then there you go. And mine turned out nothing like hers. <laughs> Absolutely nothing like hers. I actually really liked what was left on my silicone mat. And I'll show you that in a minute. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore how this came out on my nail, but what was left on the mat was quite cool as well. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and take off the liquid latex to reveal what, you know, mess we have to clean up now, <laughs> which isn't a lot, to be honest. It could have been so much worse. Still, you're not getting any nail cleanup porn yet. I've got plenty to show you. Trust me. I'm going to get really messy in a minute. <laughs> Think that was messy? You wait. You'll see. But I love how this turned out. I'm going to go ahead and top coat it, of course, using my favourite top coat, Seshweet, as per usual. And this is, of course, the end result. And I absolutely I hard love this so much. It reminds me of I don't know what, but it's so cool. And I really do think it's kind of three-dimensional. Like the design looks really three-dimensional. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, let's get into the third look. And I'm not sure how many of you actually pegged this or thought maybe I might do this, but I waited for that bit that's left on the mat to dry and I decided to put it on my nail. This was completely made up. This was actually going to be only a three look video, but because of this, I had to use it. So I waited for it to dry about half an hour to an hour and then I placed that on my middle nail. So as you can see, I'm and I mentioned this before, I'm only doing these changing the designs on my middle nail so I'm only having to take off polish off one nail but now doing this putting like these big sort of made up decal things that you make up on a silicone mat on your nail can be quite messy so let's go ahead and clean up this mess because it's going to be messy messy but can I just say that I'm incredibly jealous of all of those girls who even though you know I have the same scissors that they use I cannot cut these things out the way they do I just can't it just doesn't I'm so frightened of you know cutting my own skin or my cuticles or my nails or you know just having a complete bloodbath that I, I, I don't understand how they can do that so seamlessly and so easily but anyway ugh so annoying <laughs> why can't i be perfect like other people and with that you of course get your nail clean up porn here you go enjoy Sorry to interrupt your nail clean up porn session, but look, I mean, I said I was, it was going to be a long one, but I, I mean, I just think this whole nail art is just nail clean up porn. That's all it is because all of the work's already done and then it's just clean up. That's it. <laughs> it's like very tragic clean up. Sorry, I'll, I'll get out of your way now. I'm sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Thank you. 
and we're done. I think that's probably the longest nail cleanup porn session we have ever had on my channel. And oh, by the way, Emma Smith's husband, I can see you. I can see you standing behind her and watching nail cleanup porn. We know. We know. <laughs> of course, I am sesh feeding with my favourite top goat, as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it as much as I did. Yes, I like them all and I'm going to continue to say that. Anyway, let's get into the final look, which is number four. So the final marble look is achieved through the drag marble technique, which is exceedingly easy and creates virtually no mess, which is always fabulous. Now the key to remember is to make sure that you work while your polish is wet. You put your second coat of base color down, nice and thick, and then immediately after that, add your colors. Then you wanna come in with some sort of tool. I recommend using a small brush. Uh, using something like a toothpick, you can end up going in too far into your nail. And then you just create your design, whatever design you like. It doesn't matter. You can do a swirly pattern. You can do a back and forth pattern like I did. And then, uh, then I went up and down. And I always tend to overplay with things a lot. I do that a lot. But up to you, however, whatever design you would like to create is fine. But as you can see, creates virtually no mess. And yes, we then obviously need to do a little bit of cleanup, but it's not enough for now cleanup porn. And you, I think, have had your feel in this video, most definitely. <laughs> now, a lot of people uh, say when doing drag marbles, I mean, the most common thing that someone might say is, oh gosh, that's going to take so long to dry. And I mean, it takes longer than normal, yes, but it doesn't take that much longer. And pretty much by the time I'm finished doing that small amount of cleanup, I'm ready to top coat and yes I am using sesh feet which does have a tendency to dry through the layers of polish in which case my polish will probably dry faster than yours if you're not using sesh feet but don't let the fear that it might not dry as fast as other polish um, be the thing that stops you from doing this because it's so much fun and it's so easy to do and that's it for this one. The final look, I really hope you liked this one as much as I did. I mean, I liked them all, so uh, I hope you liked all of them as much as I did. Anyway, uh, let me know. In I'm going to put a little poll thing up the top so you can tell me which one was your favourite. I'd really love to, for you to tell me down in the comments below which one you think you might try. If not all of them, I would love it if you tried all of them. I really, really would. Anyway. Yep, I'm going now. Thanks, anyone. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye. Oh, and of course, I've got this fancy outro card now, which I've mentioned in my previous last two videos, I believe. Don't forget to go and watch my previous video, which was obviously the Alice in Wonderland stamping fantasticness of it. <laughs> uh, also, please subscribe and that way you will always be able to hear my fabulous accent because <laughs> it's so fabulous. I've been told by lots of people how fabulous it is. <laughs> oh, and also all the other social medias. Don't forget to go and follow me on those as well because I'm super funny. Everyone says and I even say. Anyway, I'm going now. Bye. <laughs>